when people want to pursue something in the field of finance, the two very common options that come up are CFA and FRM. But people are not really sure about the difference and what really they should take up based on the career that they are imagining. So in this video, we're going to talk about uh, the differences and the similarities between CFA and FRM and how you should take a decision based on what you are aspiring towards. Before I jump into it, if this is the first time you are watching this video, then please do click subscribe. And if there's any value that you find from this video, again, give us a thumbs up. Let's first jump into the details of what both of them really comprise of the universe, right? So CFA, as we all know, is by the CFA Institute based out of US, a globally recognized course. And that is a specialization in the field of overall finance. For those who don't understand what finance really means, finance is all about money. It's all about how do I acquire money? How do I manage money? How do I deploy money? It encapsulates personal finance from your day-to-day -day budgeting and income and expense all the way to financial markets where to invest massive sums of money. Even for corporates, right? When do you invest in an asset? What is the right way to really maximize return? All of this is what comes under finance. Now, FRM, as the full form indicates, is financial risk management. It's by the Global Association of Risk Professionals. Again, US-based but recognized world over. This is a specialization in finance, but a super specialization in financial risk. This applies more to industries such as banking, insurance, financial services, basically the BFSI sector or any company or industry which needs to understand financial risk. It's not very uncommon. It, it's in fact growing in popularity because this role of risk management is sort of come up over the last few years much more than what it used to be in the past. So the demand for CFA and FRM both have been increasing for these reasons. Now, if I go into a little bit of technicality, let me explain the uh, differences, right? When it comes to, let's start with eligibility. The CFA eligibility has now been shifted to when you are in your second last year of graduation, which means if you're doing a three-year BCom, you can appear in year two. And if you're doing a four-year BCom or engineering, you can appear for CFA level one in year three. FRM, you can immediately start post-grade 12. The simple difference, right? So that's why a lot of people, by the way, do FRM in year one and then they pick up CFA. Coming to the academic structure. So CFA is very well structured, very popular in the world when it comes to the thoroughness and the extensiveness of its curriculum. It has three levels, level one, level two, level three. And of course, like I said, right, it does cover a little bit of basic of accounts and finance, but it really goes in the depth of finance. For the three levels, it takes on an average two to three years and of course, sometimes more depending on your journey to complete CFA. Let me come to FRM. FRM has two parts, part one, part two. You can think of it as two levels. You can complete FRM totally in approximately a year. So there's a huge difference here when it comes to the duration. And that's the reason people pick up FRM first if they're not sure what they want to do because it gives them a foot in the door when it comes to the field of finance. And if they're strong at it or they enjoy it, they can pick up CFA, which is a larger or a more extensive course. So think of CFA as the field of finance and FRM is like a subset of it, right? So you go deeper, you become a more specialized professional, by the way. All right. Now, when it comes to the paper pattern for CFA, CFA level one and level two are much more objective and level three is completely subjective. FRM is completely objective, only MCQ based. Both are computer based exams. So that's more or less when it comes to appearing for the exam. Uh, the effort you have to put in more or less according to us is similar. Don't worry that CFA might be more difficult because it's longer or FRM might be more difficult. Both require massive effort, but both are global professional qualifications. So make sure that you put in the effort that's required because the returns are going to be massive. Next, when it comes to opportunities for CFA and FRM, I'll first talk about India. Simply put, guys, CFA level one onwards, you have opportunities in India. FRM complete both the parts, you do have opportunities in India. I think uh, your goal should be, if you don't have a very clear path, start working in some multinational, some banking, some well-branded company from either qualification. And there are opportunities for both in India. A CFA level one, if you complete, you can look at packages of four to five lakh onwards. And of course, as you do level two, level three, packages will go above 10 lakhs a year. FRM is more or less similar to CFA level one minimum. And of course, as you progress in a year or two, you will be able to take a jump up compared to maybe just doing a simple BCom or PBA. Overseas, again, both qualifications are very well recognized, specifically in countries like US. So if you're looking at going overseas, our suggestion is start in India, 
have a couple of years of experience and start applying everywhere that you would like to go in a few years you should get the opportunity with everything all your conditions in place from not only the of course the job and the pay maybe the country you want to get into the visa opportunities what to get there what is the economic situation of that country etc etc both qualifications have the passport to take you overseas uh, lastly when it comes to the fee structure so simply again simply put cfa if you complete all three levels will be approximately 3 3 and a half lakhs spread over 3 years which includes everything what you pay the body which is the registration fee the exam fees as well as your training and the study material all will come under 3 3 and a half lakhs spread over 3 years in the first proper year of your major role you will recover the entire investment of cfa so in that sense it's a beautiful course because you can study and work together after at least level 1 coming to frm frm because it's a shorter course because of specialization it is also less expensive you can complete entire frm in less than 2 lakhs which is both the parts over a period of a year and once again the return that you'll make in less than 6 months of any primary job that you secure because of frm in less than half a year you will recover your entire frm investment so guys this is more or less the details of the courses finally what should you do first of all let's take basic situations if you know where you want to go if you want to become you want to specialize in finance but the whole of finance then cfa if you want to specialize in finance but particularly in risk because you know that that's a niche that's growing people around you have shown you opportunities then fr second based on your eligibility if you've just given grade 12 then you have no option but to at least appear for fr and then you always can do cfa right because then you have a base qualification with you and then you study a larger one where in maybe you can also start working as an frn simultaneously study for cfa of course students who given grade 12 can also directly start studying for cfa level 1 because they'll be eligible in the next year itself but more or less guys if you're not sure i would say frn plus cfa is a very good combo you don't have to really study multiple different things you you become a super specialist in finance within that financial risk if you do both so maybe if you've just given your 12th i would suggest give frm but then also ensure that you land up giving cfa Lastly if you are a graduate you are a little senior already then i would say maybe cfa is good enough because you know you can also start building a career as soon as you give level 1 unless there is any opportunity that your company or any other company that is looking for frm specialist you know you can back that job then you study frm right now it's a shorter course you can even finish it in 6 months if you just go on turbo speed quite manageable depending on your understanding of finance and then you can only pick up frm If you think we've missed anything leave it in the comments we'll make sure that we reply to you one to one otherwise yeah you can always reach out to us we of course have been training candidates in CFA since years now we do more than 2 to 2 and 1500 students every year in CFA we we become one of the largest CFA providers in the country and we've also launched FRM in the last year so anything you would like to know about either of the courses please reach out we'll be able to guide you on your particular road path